is all wrapped up into one. And no matter what, you will always be our little princess. I'm glad we get to come here for Christmas. Me too. Oh, speaking of which... An early Christmas gift. Something to help you stay awake during all those boring speeches today. <gasps> it's a camera! It's an antique! Thank you! It's perfect! Well, it's not an antique, but it was my first camera, and it still takes great pictures. It's so perfect. Okay. It's time to go now, honey. Okay. Princess Catherine, we must review your itinerary. It's just as I remember. I feel like there was snow falling. The Christmas tree lighting ceremony at the consulate begins promptly at 8 tomorrow morning. The staff's children will sing one or two carols. You'll hand out gifts. And time permitting, the ambassador will introduce you to his staff. Here's the list. It's names and positions. Have fun. Let them take their selfies. But you mustn't dawdle. We have a full day. Mustn't dawdle. Catherine. Mm. This is important. Yes. I am to meet privately with the ambassador. He will ask how things are back home. I will ask about his wife. Her name is Clara. You have brunch at 10. They'll ask you to say a few words. I've had the media office prepare a brief speech. So when are we going to the gallery? I tried. Emma. I'm sorry, Catherine, but look at your schedule. Besides the commitments of state and the Christmas concert, now you have George Holt on his way for a visit. But we only have three days. We need to be home for the Christmas festival. There's just no time to waste on galleries. It's not a waste of time. Of course it's not. All I'm trying to say is, well, it was fine while you were at school. Your father and I were raised to believe that the study of art is perfectly respectable. Well, it's happy to be something that I love. And in your position, you can be a patron. To museums, galleries, to your heart's content. But you also have more important responsibilities. It's past time for you to accept that. I just want one hour. George! Margaret! Good to see you again. You too, I trust you're well. Oh, yes, I'm well, thank you. How was your flight? Mm, pain trouble. So aggravating. All that recycled air, you never know what you're inhaling. Yeah, well, still, the city's beautiful during the holidays. I'm sure you'll enjoy your stay. I sincerely hope so. <laughs> you remember my niece? Oh, of course. Uh, so nice to see you again, your royal highness. It's good to see you too. Uh, it's been a long time. Yes. Your uh, aunt tells me that you have an incredibly busy schedule during your stay. I sure do. But I have been looking forward to seeing you. Well, then are you going to give me a hug or not? I thought you forgot about me. <laughs> not a chance, you know. <laughs> you look fantastic. Thank you. I 
Well, this is good news. Oh, Freddy, you're killing me. I gotta have those skylights tomorrow. No? Uh-huh. No? I'm pretty sure I said tomorrow. Because if I don't have them by tomorrow, I'm gonna tell Santa that a bad boy is here. Well, listen, I'd hate for you to get a lump of coal in your stocking, too, but what choice do I have? Freddy, I gotta get these skylights in before my crew disappears for the holidays. All right. Thanks, Freddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, Santa will hear all about it. All right, you too. Merry Christmas. Jack? Ed! Hey, shouldn't you be at the airport? I'm on the way. I just wanted to drop these off. I'm thinking they'd look good in the kitchen. Uh, for the countertop. Beautiful. Yeah. This is looking so good already. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, any questions? Just give me a shout on the Maui number. Okay? Absolutely. Uh, Excuse me. See you after the holidays. This is Jack. Harry? Whoa, 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 hold on. What, what plug? No, no, no. Smoke is definitely bad. Harry. Harry. All right, Harry. Harry. I'm on my way. I remember you stood and gazed out the window at my office just like that when you were a little girl. I remember it so well. A visit to your mother's attorney's office at Christmas. How festive. No, really, though. My mom and I, we had, we had this game that we'd play. And I would pick out the lights and, or a tree or some sort of display. Mm -hmm. And that would be the start of it all. And then we would go exploring the city, looking at all the decorations to find the most perfect fit. I, I look forward to those visits, too. I knew your mother since she was a little girl, and we were at school together. And once you married the prince, those visits, it's the only time I got to see you both. Well, it's been far too long, George. No need to make any excuses. I'm sure the princess of Montserrat has plenty more important things to keep her busy. Yeah, so busy, they can't even get by for an hour without me. What's the deal? Montserrat is such a small country anyway. Why do they even need a princess, huh? You know, I remember your mother asking the same question when she married your father. Well, that was a different story. She fell in love with the prince. All I ever do is stand here and wave and flash a smile and give speeches to a bunch of people that don't listen to me anyway. Hey, what you do is very important. People depend on you. Maybe I'd like to be undependable. What is going on with you, Katie? This. I didn't ask to be a princess. Oh. You know, it never stops, by the way. There's always someone there trying to tell me how to talk, how to, how to, how to look, how to smile, just how to be. Comes with the territory. I can take care of myself. Thank you. I'm sorry, George. You know, being in the city reminds me of how much I miss her. Yeah, well, especially Christmas. It was her favorite time of the year. She gave me this. This, uh, was the last Christmas present she gave me. <laughs> wow. Look at that. It's beautiful. It was the same year she gave me my favorite camera. I take it with me everywhere I go. Your mother loved the idea of you growing up to be a photographer. <laughs> oh, look at me now. Hmm? I have studied with the finest teachers at the best universities, and I can't get one hour to myself. What do you think your mother would say if she were here right now? Right now? Hmm? I think she would tell me what she said when she gave me this. She said that kingdoms and castles vanish and fade, but our love lasts forever.
there. All right. Now, what have you got going on here? Uh-huh. Well, Harry, these old circuits, they can't handle the juice. That sign of yours tanks. Sorry, Jack, I forgot I was in the back making breakfast, and all of a sudden, poof, it, the power goes out. Yeah, well, if we're not careful. You're going to go up in a puff of smoke. Oh, I always wanted to go out that way. <laughs> all right. Presto. Changeo. Alakazam. Now that's magic. I gotta get down here and rewire the whole place. Well, since when did you have the time? I'll make time. Can't have you living without heat. Hmm? Speaking of which, check the apartment, make sure the heaters are fired up. Don't touch anything. Hands off. <laughs> Bring the car around. Always a pleasure, George. Come along, Catherine. Margaret, if I could have a word. Only take a moment. Very well. So, um, I'm wondering. I'll meet you downstairs. Princess is on the way down. Okay, it's around 15 minutes. a few minutes, Margaret. I'm sure she just went for a walk. The 17th Princess of Montserrat does not go for a walk. Certainly not alone. Well, sorry about that. Well, just stand there. Find her. What is wrong with her? She has responsibilities. All right. Well, that should hold you for today. I'll come back tomorrow and fiddle around with it a little more. Hey, listen. Everybody's coming over tonight. We're having our big Christmas potluck, getting our Santa gear all ready. Why don't you drop by? It's very kind of you, but I'm having dinner with Emma tonight. Well, how's your sister doing? She's good. You know, I saw her boyfriend, Ross, on TV the other night. He was reporting on this nutty polar bear jump in the ocean thing. And... Yeah, that sounds about right. I gotta go. Well, they come by after dinner and say hi. Everybody's been asking about you. All right, let me see. So I'll, I'll tell them you're, you're coming. Come on, Harry. What? Nothing? Oh, hey! Look at what I found in your ear. <laughs> All right. When you start pulling stuff out of my ear, I know something's up. No, it's just, you know, uh, my, he's got a niece visiting, and, and he's a nice girl. I thought maybe you'd like to... Uh, what did I tell you about trying to set me up? Yeah, maybe it's time for you to get back in the game. I don't want to get back in the game. It's a stupid game. Changing the rules. Okay, okay. No nieces. But, um... Why don't you come over tonight anyway? Everybody's asking about you. Okay. Yeah. And I believe this is for you. Save it for me. Well, <laughs> no.
you take my picture? Oh, yes. Yes. I'm just visiting for the holidays, but my grandmother, she grew up in this building. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, the family used to gather around. She told me stories. I figured she'd get a kick out of a picture. <laughs> that's very sweet of you. Oh, yeah, she's a sweetie. Yeah. Family, you know. That's all there really is to it, especially around the holidays. Do my part. Make my mom proud. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year to hey. you. Okay. Hey. Hey, 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 Please stop those guys. Stop those guys. Hey. Sorry. I lost him. I got a pretty good look, though. I could, I could place a description. You gotta look out for these guys. I mean, they're all over the city. You gonna call the cops? Excuse me? You know, file a report. I mean, these guys are gone, but you might be able to catch them. Catch them? You guys just stole your purse. <gasps> oh, oh, my camera is, my camera is gone. Oh, this man said he wanted to take a picture that it was a present for his grandmother. What a liar. Going. I'm gonna get him. You're gonna get him? Yeah. Really? <laughs> What's the plan? You gonna run him down? Look, call the cops. The cops? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a thing. Well, I'll call them at my hotel room. What are you talking about? Call them right now. They're still in the neighborhood. Besides, you gotta wait. Oh, I don't wanna bother you. It's not bother. Thank you. Thank you. All right, well, now listen, my van is right over here. At least let me give you a ride to the hotel. No, it's not far. Thank you, though. Thank you. So you have no phone. You got no money. I'm assuming you're all alone and you don't want to call the police? I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself, okay? Of course you are. Thank you. All right. Fine. No. Hey, good luck with that. Hey. Here. Oh, I can't. Come on. You can't be alone in the city without money. Just... Okay, thank you. I'll pay you back, I promise. Consider it a gift. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. Everything's fine. It's just that Catherine mentioned she might drop by to say hello. No? Oh, well, another time then. Oh, yes, we're looking forward to the Christmas festival, too. Oh, of course the princess will be there. It's tradition. No member of the royal family has missed it in over a hundred years. <laughs> I will, you too. Bye. Well, that's it. I've called everyone. It's only been a few hours. A little tea, relax. She'll be back. She's my niece, George. She's my brother's only child. Suppose she's lost or hurt. Katie is not helpless. She's a smart, young, resourceful girl. She's been all around the world. She can take care of herself. She is also a princess. She's never been alone on the streets. She's never even carried money. She, she can't just be running around. Why not? What's wrong with a little running around? With Christmas only four days away. <sighs> you have no idea what it would mean to the people of Montserrat if she isn't there to celebrate with them. No, I, I can't let that happen. I, I have to find her. All right. Would you like me to call the police? Oh, we never involve the police. I called Simon. And who is Simon? been pledged to protect Princess Catherine's family for generations. You don't stay on the throne for 300 years trusting to luck, George. Now, we're fully accredited with the local law enforcement agencies. Now, that gives us a free hand to move around the city as much as we need to. If anyone can find Catherine quietly, Simon can. Does Katie know about this? Of course she knows. 
She just doesn't especially like it. Yeah, I don't think she's that far. Her mother used to do this all the time. Stay with in a few block radius. Find her, son. For real. You could have warned me that he was going to be here. If I had, you wouldn't have come. Yeah, I would have. Probably. Maybe. Come on, Jack. Ross is not a bad guy. Why don't you get to know him? He's your boyfriend. Why do I need to get to know my sister's boyfriend? He likes you. He wants to hang out, you know, be friends. Oh, what, we're in eighth grade now? I'm like, well, I'm one of the cool kids. You are one of the cool kids. You always were. Yeah, when my skinny little sister wasn't following me around. It's not... Careful. Hey, come on. Jack, it's almost Christmas. Just talk to him, please. Jack, it's on. <laughs> All right, fine, I'll talk to him. Go, go. I'll take care of dinner. Come on, sit down. I'm Ross Hargrave with another Christmas stocking stuffer from WVBC Channel 6 News, Wally Simter. Hey, tell me, Wally, you've been dancing in front of this barbershop every Christmas for over 40 years. What makes this barbershop so special, Wally, and, and why only at Christmas? This. Oh. Wally Simter, singer, dancer, Christmas enigma. This is Ross Hargrave reporting. Back to you, Stan. So, Jack, tell me the truth. What'd you think? It was, uh, it was heartwarming. Yeah, yes. That's what I was going for. You know, between you and me, this is just a means to an end. Sure. Get my TV queue up, some good exposure, oh. I'm ready to, you know, break out. I just need that one big store. Yeah. Get my ticket punched for a network gig, my friend. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guys hungry? Oh, starving. Yeah. You sure I can't help you? I'll take care of this. Go relax. Talk to Ross. Yeah. I think I'm going to take off. How come? Ah, it's old Harry I dropped by. Hmm. Thought maybe you had a hot date. Right. So? Are you dating anyone? Why is everyone so suddenly interested in my personal life? Because you're a nice guy. And you shouldn't be alone at Christmas. Are you kidding me? Look at me. I'm doing great. I'm dancing. <laughs> Jack, I'm serious. All you do is work and take care of everyone else. We need to get out and have some fun. It's been a year since you and Gretchen. Thanks for dinner, sis. Oh, don't leave. He's going to think you're avoiding him. I'll call you tomorrow. Hey, Jack! Jack! Where'd he go? <laughs>
We meet again. <laughs> yes, we do. Hey. What are you doing way over here? Oh, I'm just taking in the sights. In the dark? I like Christmas lights, and it's not Christmasy at night time. Mm. Mm. Are you lost? No. Oh. The weather is just lovely, so I thought I would take this scenic route. Back to your hotel. Exactly. Which is actually where I'm headed now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my hotel. Which is... This one. But it was really nice to see you. Yeah. It was. Me too. Uh, any word on your purse? Yes. Actually, um, no, well, kind of. I mean, the cops, you know, they're all over it. They said they were going to crack this case wide open, so that's good. Yeah, you told me you had a witness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and they were like, you got this. So, you're good. But thank you. So, are those your friends? Is that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it seems like you're missing all the fun, so you should come back inside. No, no, they, they look forward to this all year. It's kind of a Christmas tradition. The night is young, they will make the most of it. Well, it seems like they already are. <laughs> yep. Do you want to come in? Uh, no, 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 I don't want to. Oh, no, it's hot luck. There's always way too much food, and it's warm. Oh, really? Yeah, but I mean, if you have somewhere to be... Oh, I could, I could come in for a minute. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Jingle, jingle, jingle. He's this cute little kid, sharp as a tack. He's going down his list. Me, I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> Your friends are going to be so jealous. <laughs> hey, Jack! <laughs> Like, you have made it. I'm a man of my word. Oh, Dixie. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Love. Oh. You look at each other, friends. Well, Jack, aren't you going to introduce your friend? Oh, of course. Yeah, uh, this is, um, Katie. Um, Katie Holiday. Uh, Katie Holiday. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> and Merry Christmas. I'm Harry Valentine, the great Montreondo. This is you on the poster. Ah. <laughs> Are you really a magician? Well, I dabble. Well, thank you, Mr. Santa Claus. <laughs> Jackie, you can bring her by any time. Hi, honey, I'm Dixie. I was Harry's assistant for almost 40 years. And still as beautiful as the day I hired her. Oh, quite the charmer here. <laughs> you look hungry. Sorry. Let's get you a plate. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right, just... <laughs> so, how long have you known Jack? Mm. Who? Jack. Oh, Jack. Um, no, um, he has never brought anybody before. Well, I guess it was kind of one of those spur of the moment type things. But he seems really nice. He's a sweetie. So what's going on here? Why is everybody dressed up like Santa Claus? Because they are Santa Claus. What do you mean? Retired police officer, accountant, dentist, history professor. But when this time of year rolls around, all they want to do is make those children smile. It's a Christmas tradition. Mm. It's wonderful. Just don't get them started on their stories, honey. We'll be here all night. <laughs> checked all the hospitals, we monitored all the police activity, there's no one in the system who matches the princess's description. And we found her phone. She ditched it in the basement. Why would she get rid of her phone? Well, her phone has RFID with GPS. I can track this phone almost anywhere. I just didn't think she knew about it. She's a smart girl. Simon, my niece is alone in a strange city at night. We have to find her. Yes, ma'am, I understand. We will find her. It's almost impossible to disprove these days. Between all the surveillance cameras and the computers out there, there's no place left to hide. And then we have another problem. Her schedule? She has so many important commitments tomorrow. She can't just not show up. George, I, I hate to ask, but I could use your help. And it was so funny because then it was the next day, the very next day, that I answered the door and who's standing there? Harry. And I thought, who is this? 
Well, if you didn't have a job. So, uh, what's the story with you two? <laughs> There's no story. Well, who is she? I have no idea. What? Like you just found her wandering the streets? Well, as a matter of fact, you're serious? A couple guys swiped her purse, her camera was inside. She didn't want to call the cops. You think she might be in some kind of trouble? I don't know. She was wearing that raggedy coat over some pretty nice clothes. I have help with my What are you going to do? <laughs> I already tried to help her. She wanted no part of it. You can't just put her back out in the street. I'm not going to put her anywhere. She's a grown woman. Besides, I don't even know her. So get to know her. What? She's a nice girl. I don't think she's from around here, so find out what's going on. And if she's in trouble, maybe you can help. Me do that? No, 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 absolutely. I understand. Yeah, I got it covered. Thanks, Ray. I won't let you. Ray? Hey. What are you talking about? Fantastic news. My editor just gave me a story, like a real story, like the kind I deserve, you know? Wow, just like that? Well, when I'm done to puff piece, I'm on now, but yeah. Princess something or other string quartet over from Europe in town for a concert or something, I don't know. Ooh, concert. I've never heard of her, but it's got to be covered. Yeah, she's from some country, yeah. some little country Montessori, Montessoris. Or... I'm not sure, I can't remember. Ray was talking like really fast. So... I'm sorry that I fell asleep. You should have, you should have woken me. Yeah, I know. I told Harry to toss you out in the middle of the night, but he's funny like that. Coffee? Uh, I have to go. I have to You don't have time for a cup of coffee? Will you tell him I think you? That was honestly like the best. I'm sorry. I've been doing such a long wait, time. Wait a sec. I'm sorry about yesterday. I'm not really used to people helping me like that. I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you. You're welcome. So I don't know where we're going. Can we follow this? Uh, yeah. Boyfriend? No. Husband? No. It's my mother. Hmm. All right, Miss Holiday, where to? Bat Cave, Fortress of Solitude, North Pole. Yeah. Aha! Art gallery. Yeah. They just opened this new photography exhibit. One of the best collections ever. Robert Kappa. Side and some <laughs> uh, I've actually heard of a couple of those folks. Have you? Yeah? Well, most of the pieces are from the private collections, and none of them have been put up on the display before. Um, hey, I'm starving. Wanna go get some food? Is there a problem? No problem. Just hungry. 
Okay. What about Versailles? Thank you all for coming today. As you know, Princess Catherine had planned on introducing the members of Monster Eyes National Quartet in preparation for tonight's concert. Unfortunately, the princess won't be attending at all. How come? Ah, she's a bit under the weather. You mean like a cold or what? Nothing serious, but uh, with her back-to-back -back schedule celebrating the holidays when she returns home, uh, we don't want to take any chances. Okay. Just operate the camera. Let me ask the questions. I thank you all for coming again. Thanks, Trish. Good job. Hey, uh, you know, whatever's going on, obviously it's in the business. But if you're in some kind of trouble... Like that. I'm saying if you need to ride somewhere or you want to make a phone call, you can say the word. You know me. Like Christmas and photography, what more do I need to know? <laughs> oh, the song. My mother used to sing it to me all the time. We used to come in for the holidays, run around with town together, just the two of us. It was the best part about Christmas. And so yesterday you're just having a nice little stroll down memory lane and those jerks took your purse? Yes. And now you're all alone for Christmas? And this is unacceptable. I'll be fine. Give me uh, two big apple dogs with the works. I trade. Thank you. Well, I hope you uh, canceled your credit card. What? Otherwise, those guys are on one heck of a Christmas shopping spree. Oh, I don't have any credit cards. Come on, everybody has credit cards. Not me. Hi. So, just you get in there. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. It's delicious. What? You never had a hot mm. dog before? Yeah. Well, I mean, like they say, everything's better in New York. Hmm. Dark. Freddie, what's up? You kidding me? Man, take it. No, I'm coming. Freddy. Jack! You want skylights today? You got skylights today. <laughs> Delivered personally. It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, yeah, enough sweet talk. Come on, give me a hand. We'll bring him up. All right, let me just handle this. Take a look around. It's a beautiful New York space. It is beautiful. It's going to be even more beautiful when we're done with it. Land and restoration and renovation, is it? That's you. Ross, we gotta get this footage back to the station. Just stay tight on me. Oh, excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Is that the princess in there? Sir, please step away from the car. I just want to ask her a couple questions. I understand. Please step away from the car. Take it easy, man. I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing mine, too. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I just got so totally punked. Smell that, Trish? Something's fishy. maybe <laughs> this is photograph in this gallery in Milan from the 40s just after the war first time they could put up Christmas lights it was identical Milan 
Uh, I see. I saw it in a book. You like photography. <laughs> This is why you wanted to go to the gallery. Okay.、Mm, just wanted to think. You know, something about an art gallery. It always helps me clear my head. So why did you want to take off so quickly? I don't know. I... Because it seemed to me like you didn't want to see those guys you saw, or maybe you didn't want them to see you. I should go. Hey, look. If, if, <laughs> if you're in trouble, if someone's trying to hurt you. No. Uh, you don't understand. What I understand is that whatever you're running away from, you don't have to go back if you don't want to. It's not up to me, Jack. Isn't it? It's your life. You can do whatever you put your mind to. You wish you were that easy. Trust me. It's a lot easier than spending the rest of your life being someone you don't want to be. How can you be so sure? Hmm. Um, uh, look, I was thinking if you need a place to crash, you know, for a couple days, stay here. Here? Yeah. Well, the owner's a good friend. He's in Hawaii for Christmas. You know, place is empty. You'd have it all to yourself. It's up to you. Why are you doing this for me? I know what it's like to need a little help. It's not always easy to ask. Besides, this we have authentic Christmas trees in every room. <laughs> Just think about it. Ross Hargrave to see the princess. Excuse me. Sorry. Ross Hargrave, WVBC Channel Six News, to see the 17th princess of Montserrat. You know, Catherine, Sophia, Lenore, Marta, Louise, Ariane, Hollingston. Family's been on the throne for 300 years.、Yeah. Never heard of her. There's no one by that name staying at this hotel. <laughs> of course not. Well, of course not. But if you could inform Her Highness that I'm here for our exclusive interview, that would be great. Are you sure you have the right address, sir? Never mind. Jack. Hey, Jack. Damn, <laughs> hey. Things are coming. Oh, this is great. You were a little vague on the phone. Where is she? Uh, she's in the bedroom. Who's in the bedroom? Katie. Great. Who's Katie? She's. I. Just see if any of them fit. Uh huh. <laughs> Taking early lunch. I、uh, I just called a. My sister has a consignment store, and I thought you might want to change clothes. I know she told me. Thank you.、Hmm. Doesn't she look great, Jack? Uh, yeah. I told Katie that if she didn't like these, you'd bring her by the store later to pick out something else. These are fine. Yeah, no, it's, this is <clears throat> good. It's good. Hey, speaking of Christmas, I need you to go pick out the Christmas tree.、Oh. I know it's last minute, and I would do it myself if I could, but I have to be at the store because everyone else is on holiday. And even if I could, my car is so small.、Um, so can you just help me, please? Um, I would love to, but I'm on a tight enough schedule as it is. 
It's three days before Christmas. Why don't you have a tree? You ask me that every year. I don't decorate until Christmas Eve. You know that. <sighs> Look, I can't pull guys off this job, and I can't do it by myself. You always want the biggest tree. It's a two-person job. I'm sorry. Well, what about me? What about you? Packing up. I thought you had somewhere to be. I do, but she brought me all of these amazing clothes, so I would love to return the favor. You have any idea how heavy it'll be? <laughs> Watch. Okay. Oh, Katie, thank you, thank you. Oh, I knew we were going to be best friends. Thank you. I can call them, let them know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say, I'm not going to call around at 4 o'clock just to let me know what's going on, okay? Thanks, guys. Dinner at my house. Um. <laughs> Need a drink? Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh no. Uh, no, no, no. Just a case of the sniffles, Ambassador. Well, naturally, she wants to attend the concert. I had to insist she stay in bed. How could most of us celebrate Christmas without its princess? <laughs> I'll tell you, Cole. Thank you for standing at the concert. Bye now. Where are you, Katie? I'm going. No, 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 Okay, what are you trying to kill me? No! Okay. Sorry. That's not at the end, by the way. You're welcome. You want to take a plane? Oh. Yeah, take a plane. Here you go. You better? Okay. Let's go. Let's get her done. What? <laughs> in the house. George Holt. Hi, I'm uh, Ross Hargrave, WVBC Channel 6 News. What can I do for you, Mr. Hargrave? Mr. Holt, I don't know if you remember me. I was at the press conference this morning. I remember you. I was hoping the princess might feel up to an interview. Just the two of us? Princess won't be doing any interviews while she's here. Well, I suppose then I'll have to run with my other story. And what story is that? The rumors that she's disappeared. I'm afraid you've been misinformed. The princess is upstairs right now, resting in her suite. Look, we can dance around like this all day, but I've done my research, and I know for a fact that the princess has never missed a Christmas event. Ever. I find it hard to believe that a little case of the sniffles is going to change that. Well, I find it hard to believe that your station is in the habit of airing rumors. We live in such a litigious society. Well, if it's just a rumor, prove me wrong. Let me see the princess. I've got it. George! She is just like her mother. Margaret. Catherine Hellingston. They always run away. The runaway princess. Exclusive story at six. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks again for your help. It means a lot to Emma. Oh, I thought it turned out to be kind of fun. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should hire you on full time. I can use someone around and do the heavy lifting, snowball throwing. I'm gonna take you up on that. You know, Emma meant what she said before about Christmas dinner. Oh, Jack. I know, I know. Got a lot of stuff up in the air, but it's Christmas. You shouldn't be alone. Thank you. It's still here. Oh 
fitness. Ah. I don't believe it. I was here with my mother when I was a little girl. You kidding me? Yeah. I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. Did you? Really? <laughs> yeah. Goodness. It's exactly. It's exactly the same. It's just unbelievable. I sat on Santa's lap here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I showed up to the court. Look at this right here. This is exactly the same. You know, I thought that I was going to be here forever. I really did. Just her, my father and I. That was it. How are you folks now? Yeah. I was really young. And, uh, this plane crashed. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey. Are you ever afraid of everything you've ever imagined? For so long, can't possibly be real. That's why you're in New York to see if it's real. I miss you so much. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta see this. Come here. <laughs> Ah, uh, sit down. Now, I know you love coloring. <laughs> oh, but it's not colored. Let's have your magic wand. Oh, you are a magician. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Have some soup here. Jack, soup's ready. Two minutes. Yeah, it never stops. Oh, not since I've known him. This is good. Yes. Mm. How'd you guys meet? Jack and I met a couple of years ago. I just retired the act. Didn't know what to do with myself. I told him, I said, Harry, why don't you open a store or something, you know, so you don't get rusty? I found this place to rent. I came out to talk to the owner. Grumpiest young man I ever set my eyes on. Jack? He was this hotshot real estate broker back then. Man, all this money. And smart as a whip. He got an MBA from one of those big schools. So Jack, the guy that uh, has a van and renovates old buildings, really. The point is he hated every minute of it. All he really wanted to do was to work with his hands. When word gets around, this guy is like a magician with his hands. That wasn't no pun intended. <laughs> Next thing you know, he quits real estate, buys himself a van. Which did not sit well with Gretchen. It's Gretchen. Well, they were supposed to be married. She shows up one day, tells him she didn't sign on for some guy who works with power tools. And that, as they say, is that. So she just left. It wasn't pretty. When was this taken? This afternoon. I just got this from one of my men. My niece was at the gallery this afternoon, and you and your men missed her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how that happened. Who is that with her? Uh, well, <clears throat> evidently, she's got a contact in the city who we don't know about, <clears throat> which would explain how she's been able to evade our men. But anyway, we'll, we'll find a name. Thanks for walking me home, Harry. Good night, Katie. So what have you been doing back there? Ah, uh, those old circuits are on their last legs. I'm just patching them up until I can find the time to get down here and rewire the whole place. How's that going? <laughs> I'd probably be better off with one of Harry's magic spells. <laughs> Come on. I see what you're doing to that building. It's like you're bringing it back to life. Well, some days it feels like I'm banging my head against the wall. Well, I just can't believe you ever used to do anything else. Somebody's been talking to Harry. 
Apparently, he used to be really grumpy all the time. <laughs> well, yeah. kind of hard to be chipper when you stop looking forward to getting up in the morning. Hey, when you decided to start over and try something different, how'd you know it's what you wanted? I... I guess I always kind of knew. Just had to make up my mind to do something about it. Do you ever look back and miss all the things that you had? No. I don't see the point in looking back. It's kind of just about being the present, you know? Jack? Em! Hey! Hey! Katie, hi! Jack, Ross. I look fine to you here. Katie, this is my boyfriend, Ross. Ross, this is Katie. It's nice to meet you. Hi. You look familiar. Really? It's... It's weird. <laughs> Come in. Mm -hmm. Have some soup. Oh, no, no, no. We can't. I wanted to bring these by. Thought you could use the change of clothes after the day you put in. Thank you. Are you kidding? Thank you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Why are you guys all dressed up? Ross is taking me to dinner. And then we have to get to see a concert by the National String Quartet of Montserrat. Concert? Have you heard of them? Yeah, I heard, I heard they're lovely. Mm. What's the difference? I got the tickets free from work. The important thing is we are celebrating tonight. <laughs> What's the occasion? I finally found it, Jack. A big story that's going to get me that network gig. Russ is a television reporter. He's working on a big story and I can't really talk about it. Well, I can say that a certain member of a certain royal family is on the loose in a certain city tonight, right now. Isn't that exciting? It's exciting. Oh. All right, we better scoot. See you guys later. <laughs> Sorry, was the music too loud? I like it. Yeah. yeah, I do this at night sometimes. When it's quiet, you know, helps me think. Yeah. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Lately? You? I don't know you. What you do? Where are you from? You just show up all of a sudden? Wondering if you're gonna leave the same way? No, my entire life, I have always wanted to make my own decisions. And here I am, no one to tell me what to do, and I can't decide. Because, either way, I have somebody I care about. Well, I was going to give you this tomorrow, but I suppose you should open it now in case you decide to go and run off on me. Kind of a early Christmas gift. It's nothing fancy, but I mean, a photographer shouldn't be going around without a camera, right? Thank you. Do me a favor. Huh? Don't just disappear on me. Come with me to the art gallery tomorrow. I'm talking then, okay? Okay. Cool. Good night.
you have to keep looking through these things? Nobody else has them. is inspirational. I'm gonna make a phone call. Okay. Thank you. I love that thing you did on the dancing elf. It was uh, very illuminating. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Listen, there was a woman here the other night, friend of Jack's. Katie, sure. Right, Katie. I think I know her from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Any idea where I might find her? Oh, well, she'll be back later. She likes to hang around while Jack works on the place. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. Yeah. George! Oh my god. <laughs> Katie, are you alright? I'm fine, George. Really, just tell Aunt Margaret I'll be back soon, I promise. Oh, she is very worried about you. We all are. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to worry you. I hope you know that. I just really needed some time to myself. <sighs> okay, I understand. Don't you think it's time you come home now? I can't. Um, something happened. What happened? Well, I'm not really sure. Does this something have a name? Jack. Does this Jack know who you are? Mm. <laughs> I see. I just, if you could hold Aunt Margaret off a little while longer, that would be great. What are you going to do? I don't know. Look, I can hold her off. But there's another problem. There's this local TV reporter that's been asking a lot of questions. You know, I saw. It's bad. Oh, you know, if he spins us the wrong way, I mean, you've got a lot of stake here, kid. More than you know. I, I gotta go. I, I, I'll, I'll call you. All right, I'll call you. Sure. Well, find out and get back to me. Ma'am, two of my men made contact with the princess this afternoon. Do they have her? Is she safe? Well, apparently she recognized them and jumped into a van to avoid them. A van? With whom? The man from the surveillance photo? Now we know who we're looking for. Lying in renovation and restoration. No, who were these guys? I don't know, but they looked like they meant business. Ross is on his way over. Yeah, he keeps coming around. Well, 
What's important is, why would anyone want to kidnap you? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm sorry. I should have told you. Told us what? The reason this all started was because I wanted to find a way for Christmas to feel the way I used to, the way I remember it with my family. And I met you guys. And you made me feel so welcome. Like, like I belonged. Like I was part of your family. And it felt really good. And for the first time in a really long time, I didn't have to worry you were being nice to me because of who I am. Sign and find me in three, two. This is Ross Hargrave with another exclusive story from WVBC Channel 6 News. Ross, what are you doing and where did you go last night? While this may be a time of Christmas miracles for most of us, the true mystery this holiday season is the amazing story of the young woman who vanished among the lights and tinsel of our own city. What are you talking about? Yeah, are you aware of the true identity of the young woman currently hiding inside this magic shop? Ross, get that thing out of my face. You can't hide the truth. What, what the, the truth? heck is going on out here? Sir, what my viewers want to know is what the heck is going on in there. In here? Well, let's see for yourself. Chris. Where is she? Oh, where's who? Your friend Katie. What do you want with her? Oh, come on, Jack. We all know who she really is. Russ, just stop. What are you doing? Are you getting this? Every word. Oh, ah! Do any of you have any idea how long I've been waiting for a story like this? Do you think it's every day that Ross Hargrave gets an exclusive interview with a runaway princess? Wait. Who's a princess? Katie? You really didn't know? I think I would have mentioned it. That was your big story? The one that you had to keep secret? Well, I couldn't rest my exclusives. But you knew that Katie was my friend. You should have told me. Oh, come on, baby. You know how important the story is to me. More important than us? Well, yeah. Th nothing personal, you know? You're right. Nothing personal. Hey, whoa! Go, 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 go! You get that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all right. Ross <laughs> Pizzapiro! Where... Actually, shift's over anyway. See ya. You okay? I can watch the other channels. It's a really small country. <laughs> what? So she's a princess. What's the big deal? It's not like Katie lives in a castle or something. Actually, really? Oh. Wow. Hmm. What's it like? Later. <laughs> so who are those guys chasing you? They technically work for me. At home in Montserrat, we celebrate Christmas every year with the National Festival. A very old tradition. The whole country looks forward to it. And for hundreds of years, the royal family, my family, has always presided over it. <laughs> and now you gotta go home. Um, hey, I'm 
happy you got the chance to come back and see Christmas again when you remember it. Jack, I... I gotta... I gotta go to work. Um, have a safe trip home. Thank you for everything. Um, keep in touch. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna miss the Christmas dinner next year. You'd be gone. It's beautiful work in here. If you lose it. Thank you. You never did get to the gallery. <laughs> All I ever wanted was one hour. Just one hour? Yeah. I think we might need some Harry's Christmas magic. How did you do this? You know the place I'm working on? Mm -hmm. So the owner is a friend of mine who's a stockbroker, very successful. Happens to be on the board of directors. Calls him up in Maui. He owes me a favor. Here we are. Okay, well, my turn. What did you see to my friends? Uh, just to be clear, you, you are a princess, all right? Because if you're a duchess or countess or any of those things, it feels off. I'm just a princess. Just? Yes. Okay. Oh. You gotta go. Uh... <laughs> You don't want this. Thank you. Enjoy. Jack Langdon. Well, call me crazy, but I had a feeling you guys were going to show up. Fellas? Where's the princess? Oh, she's hanging out with some friends. I need to see. Okay, come on, Jack. Neither of us want to get the police involved. That's true. Although, if you were going to call the police, you probably would have done that already. The point is, you know who she is. And you know she has to go back. I say that's up to her. Jack, if the princess isn't back home on Christmas morning, a lot of people are going to be very disappointed. And these people truly love her. You know, that's the first thing you said that I understand. All she wanted was to experience a Christmas the way she did with her mother. How could you not love that? Jack, I understand. I used to come with him on those trips. Now it's gotten very complicated. Oh, it's about to get a lot more complicated. Well, what do you mean? Cliff? Are you serious? Which one is she? 
Power of suggestion. Learn a few things hanging in with Harry. <laughs> I'll have to thank him, too. You have no idea how much this means to me. I don't want to get what they want for Christmas. Seven Santas, and there's no princess. Well, there's got to be a mistake. Keep searching. Where is she? Oh, uh, we're on top of it. There were a lot of samples. Okay. My mother gave this to me. Because kingdoms and castles vanish, but love lasts forever. I think I would have liked your mom. Is a beautiful place this time of year. Magical. I couldn't stop thinking about you. You know, I I wonder if after 300 years, Monster, I would mind if we started a new tradition. What would that be? That we spend all of our Christmases together for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Every day in between. Merry Christmas, Katie. Merry Christmas, Jack. <laughs> 